Hey, it's Big T. Today I'm uh, going to put together a fly called a shaggy leech that I tie. Um, we're going to start with a, it's a barbless terrestrial hook in a size 10. And I've got a 3.3 millimeter um, tungsten brown countersunk bead on there. I'm going to add some lead wrap and this is 0.25 gauge make it a really heavy fly. If you don't want it that heavy you can go with the lead free wrap which is not as heavy I'm doing this just about as much for the weight uh, as I am for the thickness of the body just to add a little thickness there as well you can always thicken it up other ways adding thread wraps etc what I like to do, so I don't get a whole lot of twist with that lead, you can wrap over it several times with thread, uh, which will work, but I'll also put just a touch of Zappa Gap on there. Slide that back forward now that I've got that on there. I'd say that's probably a dozen wraps of the lead and now I'm going to come up and wrap over this is a chartreuse 70 denier Danville thread I'm using whoop, broker using chartreuse in uh, honor of Scott Brown he's always got chartreuse on his leeches Scott's the by far the oldest competitive fly fisherman in North America perhaps the world I don't have that verified so we're just gonna start over with our thread wraps and wrap back over all this mess Uh, once we get back to the end of the hook, we're going to use some marabou. This is a Nature Spirit Premium Boogerboo. And what I'll do with this is I'll take a feather out. And in, in order to maximize the amount of uses I can get from this, I'm going to preen some back and so I'll just be using this portion of it I'll kind of measure that off to see about the length of the about the length of the hook is what I'll put together and I'll go ahead and tie that down make a couple wraps over that if you noticed I tied that in just behind the lead wraps In doing that, you'll build just a, a tidbit of bulk right there behind the lead wraps to make this fly come out and even up. Alright, we've got that in place. The, the thing that you can do now, if you're going to be tying multiple flies, is trim out that little triangle there so that when you go to, to tie your next fly, you've got the nice fluffy in pieces that are tapered and not completely squared off to make your fly look better. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a dubbing loop and in that dubbing loop I'm going to put some uh, Olive Senyo's Shaggy Dub as well as some Sculpin Olive Senyo's Laser, laser Dub. So I'm just going to get a generous pinch of this laser dub out and pull some of those fibers apart and, and I'm gonna want it to be approximately oh what's that inch and a half uh, long I'm gonna lay this kinda on my thigh right now because on top of that I'm gonna be 
pinching some of the Senya's uh, shaggy dubbing and pulling that out and I'll lay that right there I'll be laying that on top of the laser dub so we'll get our whatever dubbing loop tool you may have and create a loop I simply come up and wrap back over a couple of times before coming up to the top put my finger in to spread the threads out and then I'll be bringing this material up and in the loop that I put together again that's the laser dub and the shaggy dub and I'll start twisting this up a little bit by hand and eventually give her a good spin Once you've got that spun up real well, I'm going to come around and begin my wraps. And I'll just start wrapping this fly up. To the top of the bead and then come over top of that dubbing loop a couple times to secure it in and then back in front of it can trim this off and I'll start kind of preening this back to create a little chartreuse hot spot Put a touch of Zappa Gap on our thread. Getting a little thick on me. Wrap that around a couple times, then come in with a whip finish. And to complete this fly, I'm going to get my makeshift dubbing brush. Out. I'm going to start picking this thing apart. And as you'll notice, that shaggy dub is just going to come alive. Start picked out along with the laser dub. And you're going to be able to envision the action that that booger is going to give us. If you've got anything that comes out that you feel is too long, you want to trim down, welcome to do so. Um, but that right there is just going to provide you all kind of movement when that flies in the water. It's a great fly to also tie on a jig if you want to. Use that as an anchor fly, jig it through the water column. Uh, these legs will go crazy when you do that. But uh, many color combinations, try black. Um, this is also an excellent choice. I appreciate you watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel. And for these materials and more, visit my store at uh, BigTFlyFishing.com.